What's up, guys? Uh, I'm back with another video. I told you guys I'd upload another one today, and uh, I, I guess there's a little bit of a special treat for you guys. Uh, this is a match from the WGL Finals against TCM. Uh, currently, this series is 4-3 in favor of TCM, and uh, we're going to have to replay to mo uh, next Monday at the same time because Liar had to go for class, and uh, some of the other players and casters kept getting host booted by, uh, by some, some dude in the EU community. Who, uh, who always hosts boots or whatever, so we're just gonna wait a few days or however long and um, then we'll just, yeah, we'll replay next Monday. So I'm gonna break down this uh, this gameplay to you guys, explain you explain to you what I'm doing, what I'm thinking uh, as uh, I'm going. So let's start off, we're about to cap a flag here, we're just trying to secure everything. My job right now is to watch Bounder Dome, make sure nobody comes through cave or middle map. Looks like it's all clear for Parasite, but you just gotta wait until he caps. And as soon as he caps, you wanna try to gain as much position as you can outside New York Cates. As you see here, I get stunned, but I get a nice call out from my teammate Liar. Calls out the guy to my right, and I'm able to pick up that kill. Put some shots into another player, Dito helps me clean that up. And now we're pushing for to get some more map control over near the dock. I see this one guy, he just took out two of my teammates, so I just need to stay alive. He pushes me with a pistol, and I'm able to pick up the kill. And now I take out, uh, I don't take out anything, but... I take more of the map. Unfortunately, I got naded, so I really didn't do much for my teammate right there except uh, stop one player from pushing up. So I'm, I'm actually stuck on my teammate right there. Uh, I run by, and once again, we're just trying to hold our position over near crates. Uh, we want to make sure that if they push past, let's say, our half of crates, which would be in between, they get taken out. So I see this that second player. I take out one, but Jake gets a really good two-piece on myself and Dito. So that's up the Parasite. He actually goes really big right there, taking out Jake. And uh, I think he might get one more kill over here. Yeah, he does. So now, this is, we're in a really awkward position because they have control of crates. And we're spawning right in front of Cave. And we need to rotate back to make sure that, you know, they can't pull our flag. So what you need to do is you need a guy to try to rotate back through middle. Unfortunately, as soon as I tried to do that, uh, two of my teammates got taken out by a grenade. But luckily enough, you know, Liar goes really big right there. He stops the flag inside bottom dome. And uh, they're not really able to uh, to move it anywhere. So now, once again, we're just trying to fill up the aggression right now. My teammate got a good spawn over near Doc, as you can see by the minimap. And I just want to bring up this point that you should always be looking at your minimap. You know, keep it in your peripheral vision. Always look at it because it does give so much information. You know, where your teammates are spawning, uh, the positions of other people while, when they show on the map. You know, it's just so helpful and uh you should always try to look at it so here we go we're back in bottom dome uh theater lags again theater can't handle my sensitivity i i think i figured it out i think i play on a too high of a sensitivity for theater or something but i got i get a really nice two piece here and uh, even though i got taken out i traded kills with that one player uh, that allows my teammates to push out crates you know i took out both players there they push out crates and um now it looks like we might be able to get a flag pull but off this spawn you always need to send a guy bottom dome uh, you should always have someone, you know, just keeping tabs on it. Make sure that they can't get a sneak pull out. Because once they get a sneak pull out, it just becomes so frustrating trying to get that return. And uh, more than likely, they'll be able to get the, the capture out of it. So my, two of my teammates die inside Hall. I'm waiting for Jake, but I decided to back up here because that's a pretty common corner for people to sit in. And you want to be as unpredictable as possible. I get a nice two-piece, moving in for the third. Unable to get it, but Dito's right there. And that makes three down. So we're going to be able to get a flag pull right here. As uh, Flux just killed Parasite, so we know he's going to be moving into our base. I get a really good spawn here, and I'm able to kill the flag carrier, but I'm not going to be able to get the return here. I come close, but the big thing there was that I stopped the flag bottom dome. That's all that matters right now. Uh, we should be able to get this return here. Yep, Liar uh, played really well, but unfortunately, we can't get the cap because uh, I think they came out through Doc and killed Dito. So now I, stun I thought I stunned him uh, outside near the tractor. I didn't think he was actually inside, so bit of a blunder by me right there. Luckily, my teammates are... Uh, able to recover from that and uh parasite does get taken out so i get a really good spawn here after i kill the flag carrier i know they're going to be behind me so i'm not too focused on the return and there you go as soon as i got that kill you know jake came down from i think my right as i turned to my left so you know just try to be aware of everything on the map you know really listen to your teammates even though it might just seem like they're the yelling and you know making noises half the time you know you, you got to be able to process that information now you see here I was going to push out crates, but then I realized that nobody would be bomb dome. So I, I figured, you know, 20 seconds left. Let's just let's just play it a bit more safe. Parasite's going to be pulling the flag. I get a really big kill here. And in order for Parasite to cap this flag, he can't really get stunned that much. So I got to be, you know, focusing on spawn kills here. Jake killed me, and I think that was a blunder by Jake. I don't think he should have went for the shot on me. I think he should have tried to 
stun the flag and just slow him down. Slow Parasite down, but, you know, it works out for us since now we're going to be going into half up by two flags, which is awesome because when we switch sides, we're going to be spawning inside. So we're already set up to defend our flag. We don't really have to do much. And uh, especially since we are playing on the EU host, you know, we're just, we're pretty ahead right now. We have a, we have a really good lead. So off the side here, you're going to see me stun them right off the start, right outside their dome door. I really like throwing the stun just because you, I, I never miss with it. I always hit somebody with it. And, uh, you know, it just slows down the other team, which is what you want. You want to just try to waste time when you have the lead. So my teammate, Dito, picks up one kill middle map. So it looks like we might be set up for a cave pull. But as soon as that happened, two of my teammates get taken out. Uh, honestly, I should have had this kill on Flux right here. Uh, I think maybe the connection had uh, something to do with that. But no worries as Dito. You know, very smart play, very good play and smart play by him deciding to back up. And now we're in a position where we could push. We just need some kills. I'm full red right now, and I figure if he pushes me, you know, the barrel will blow up and my nade will hurt him. But as uh, I think that was Parasite moving in for a flag, he's going to get taken out. And now my, now's my chance to shine. You know, I'm going to be pushing through cave. My team is set up over near dock. I see this guy bottom dome. I don't pick up the kill, and uh, I have no idea where that nade came from. But I got taken out. And Liar is the last guy alive in our base. He gets a really big kill right there. And that's going to allow us to spawn up right on top of him. And all we need to do is defend for a few seconds. We just need to stop this push. And then we could take the, the map right after. So I'm looking front door. My team, two teammates, actually all three of my teammates are inside dock. So I killed the other guy coming front door. And I just want to make sure nobody else is pushing. You know, you never know how many guys are going to send front door. And then I push out through dock. I know the last guy here is over near sidewalk. So uh, I'm going to be able to pick up the kill on him fairly easily. You know, I knew he was there. So I was able to pre him around the corner. And then, you know, you just push up. Take as much as you can. As quickly as you can I just push up to the tractor and then I reloaded a lot of people would lay down maybe behind the barrels right behind me and reload but you really need to establish your position up there I take out one kill and I know there's someone else near dock my teammate called it out so we have a two fly cap lead there's no real reason for me to push my teammate picks up the kill on the guy behind me and we're looking for the other guy we know he's a round red crate around this area so I, I get a nice wall I was gonna push him for the flag but then I saw this guy and I'm just trying to stay alive you see me moving back and forth because they're going to try to wall you through the crate. So you just got to move as much as possible. So I move in. I could have got another kill on Jake right there. But I decided that the flag is much more important than the kill. And I just tried to dip out as soon as I can. Make sure you always check the spawn. And that's why you leave a guy loading. Every time you see a top team play. I guarantee they're going to leave a guy hanging back near the loading dock. Just so that they can cut off the spawns. Dome is a map where if you control the spawns. You should be able to win about 99% of the times you know. You know, put your team in a good position and just keep the other team in their spawn. And now we're up three flags with around 2 minutes, 30 seconds left to play. So we're just holding our base. We have absolutely no reason to push out. Uh, we know that they're going to be pushing dock. We have a teammate watching front door. I'm just trying to force them to back up, force them to throw their nades, throw their stuns. And uh, I'm going to get in a nice position right here behind the mattress. I'm actually going to go prone, give myself a, a bit more cover. And also I do this because that fire barrel right there, everybody goes behind it in that corner, you know. So it's a, a pretty common spot. So just in case they pushed in, my teammates died, I wouldn't be in the most obvious position. So here we go. I'm pushing up, checking the spawn points. Make sure you block those spawn points off. I'm even checking it right there just in case. My teammate is in bomb dome. I'm going to come help him out. I take out the guy about to kill him. Uh, I, sh I think I should have had this kill on flux again, but, you know, the nade got me. No worries, though. My teammates are cutting off the spawns. They had the map. And uh, we're looking in a good position to put in this fourth flag cap. And uh, we do just that. As soon as we're doing that, though, we take out three guys out of the other team. So I'm just going to be blocking off the spawns here. You know, we don't need another cap. Sure, it would be nice to uh, to cap another flank, but we don't need it. We're up by four right now. We're just trying to put pressure on them. I, I know Flux, Flux is right there, man. Flux is such a sneaky beaver. I, I always put a lot of shots to him, but, you know, I, I guess I need to adjust my positioning there or shot or try to figure out how to get him out of that position. But, you know, there's a minute, 10 seconds left. We really don't have to push. I know this guy's coming haul. All I need to do is slow him down. It's all about buying time for my teammates to spawn up. Even if they cap right now, uh, I get taken out. But even if they cap, we're up by three flags. So it doesn't matter at all if they get this flag. Liar's in a position to stop them. So right now, we just need to rotate back. And I never like going up cave stairs. I always like going through hole wall. Just because uh, you could do more things. You could react differently when you go up through there. If you go up through the stairs... Then you pretty much have to go front door. You can't really go middle out of that. So if my teammates got kills like they did and I go up through a hole, then I could cut mid and help them out. If they died and I know the other team's going to get the cap, then I could easily rotate back through uh, front door. I could even push back through cave. You know, there's so many different things you could do from uh, going up through hole and wall instead of going up the stairs that I like. 
but here we go we're just blocking off the spawns you know trying to get some nice free kills i take out rich going in for a second but uh someone jumps out and i get taken out and yeah that's uh that's gonna be it for this game hopefully you guys enjoyed uh joined it uh and <laughs> what am i saying hopefully you guys enjoyed the game playing the commentary we're gonna be re uh, i guess resuming the series next monday at 9 p.m gmt that's what i've been told so you know i'll let you guys know i'll definitely make another video about it and uh, as you're gonna see I, I did pretty well this game i think i went 31 11 and 17 um well we'll see shortly as uh, the scoreboard pops up but i played pretty well i think um we've been playing very well as a team this whole series even though we're down in the series right now i think we've been playing really well but that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you later